Bynum continues to make big plays and in the process continues to make a name for himself in the NBA. He had a brief stint with the Golden State Warriors three years ago and after spending two seasons in Israel following that, the Pistons invited him to camp and promptly offered him a two-year contract. You know, when talking to Bynum off the court, you quickly realize he's one of the softer spoken players on this Pistons team, opting instead to let his game do the talking. For him, in that regard, he has much in common with the man who helped bring him to Detroit. In a recent conversation with Joe Dumars, the Pistons president didn't hold back his feelings regarding one of his favorite players. I'm probably a little bit too biased about Will, just in terms of, um, uh, of the one guy that um, just epitomizes everything. He, 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 he's the guy, I'm telling you. He epitomizes everything. Um, the work ethic, the dedication, uh, the personality, never, ever a negative word, never, ever an attitude. Uh, first one to practice, always the last one. Uh, fearless when he's on the court. He's special to me. He's special to me because this little guy, he has the biggest heart of all these guys on this team. He's the littlest guy out there, but he has the biggest heart. And so I have a tremendous amount of confidence in him that he's going to have a good year. He epitomizes the diamond in the rough. Is there still a part of you that says, how did this guy end up in our laps? When he first came out of Georgia Tech, he was just, just offensive, one-on-one -on -one player that didn't mesh with the other four guys on the court, didn't defend. You know, he just wanted to have the ball in his hand and do all the tricks. The thing about going over to Europe is they don't believe in the one-on-one -on -one fancy play. They believe in team basketball. And he was having tremendous success over there. And the only way he was going to have tremendous success is if he was playing team basketball. So to, to continue to judge him based on what you saw three years ago coming out of college was foolish. And I remember telling Scott Perry, man, he can do it, man. This is the guy. He can do it, man, because he's... He's, had, he's been forced to play basketball, team basketball, and so we're just the beneficiaries of, of, of those two years that he spent over in Israel.